Some of you may have recognized this person from a different YouTube account. Uh, she made a video entitled, uh, what's it called? Uh, shit anti-feminists say, and oh, when I saw that video, I couldn't, my sanity level was barely there. I almost lost my freaking mind hearing what this person had to say. I'm aware that Sparky Fister has made a video on her, and uh, <laughs> it was kind of short. I had to make a video response to the whole video, and boy, oh boy. So now she made a video entitled, anti Feminists Have Zero Power. <sighs> okay, let's see if the video itself is any better than the last one. I doubt it, though. What's up, YouTube? So, um, wanted to try to make a quick video, and I really, really want to address black men on this topic because. I've been seeing some pretty disturbing videos by black men, um, especially the last week or so. Um, black men seem to think that if they call black women out on feminism, that it's going to somehow magically give them power. And it's not actually... Um, it's really sad when you see black men um, denouncing feminism when feminism empowered black men. I don't know where do you get the crazy idea that feminism has empowered black men up to this day. Maybe in like back in the 1960s where um, <clears throat> black men and women were a, you know, fighting for equal rights. Yeah, maybe back then, but now feminism is just basically the KKK for women and self-hating men. And the reason why it empowered black men is because when you think about the feminist movement, now first of all, you cannot get educated about the feminist movement by watching a video where somebody said that the Rockefellers <laughs> funded or financed feminism. That's not proper education on the subject. For you to be making a video about it and for you to be making outrageous claims about it, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Huh. Isn't that what you're sort of doing right now? Okay. I'm going to disable comments on this video, and I think I'm going to disable comments for all of my videos because I'm sick and tired of hearing this shit, for real. You know, it, honestly, I'm, I'm just tired of it. You know, I know I do have supporters on this channel, but I'm so sick of you people and your ignorance. I really am. I'm tired of it. By arrogance, you mean criticism. Because, you know what, feminists like yourself always, play, you know, play the victim card and how much hate you receive every freaking day. If you're, if you can't handle the arrogance that we're giving out, then maybe you shouldn't be here on YouTube spre expressing your thoughts on anything. YouTube, when you're on YouTube expressing something you have to face, you have to realize that you're going to receive criticism regardless on whether or not your, your uh, statements are correct or false. And in this case, it's false. But anyway, you need to educate yourself a little bit more on the subject before you make a video because you sound really stupid. Okay, I'm just being honest with you. I know that that doesn't sit well with people because... You know, you're thinking, well, she just called me stupid. But you do sound, it's not that you sound stupid, you just sound ignorant. And ignorant means not knowing. You know, everybody not knows. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? <laughs> okay, give me one second.
careful. All right. You see this? It's called a mirror, lady. You just... You could probably see your pretty little face on my computer. Right there. You should tell yourself that. You just keep telling yourself that because right now you you, you are being arrogant. You you sound stupid. I I know that you've been acting arrogant and stupid because in your previous video, um, not only have you um uh, straw man anti feminist, uh, you barely done your research at all, barely. And don't tell me that I haven't been doing my research or you've been doing your research because the fact of the matter that you have to repeat the exact same argument over and over again in your previous video, um, what was it called again? Yeah, shit anti-feminists say. The fact that you put anti-feminists in one group just makes you just a horrible human being. Not every anti-feminist supports rape nor supports child molestation or, you know, be racist or whatever. I'm an anti-feminist because I hate people like yourself. I hate you due to your personality. Here's the thing. The feminist movement wasn't always called the feminist movement. Okay? That's something that they named it. Initially, it was just uh, women's em emancipation, um, women's rights movement. You know, a lot of men hear that word feminism, and for some reason it drives them crazy. You know, it's, it's, it's really been um, looked into and, and it's been thought of is that the only men that have issues with feminism are um, either men that hate women, rapists, woman beaters and child molesters. I'm just being honest with you guys. And so a lot of you people that are speaking out about it, you, it just really, it sounds weird. You sound bitter, you sound angry. Well, geez, I wonder why. Is it because, hmm, feminists like to come up with loads and loads of crap? Also, I would like to point out that the majority of men here on YouTube who are opposing feminism are definitely none of the above. They're uh, not women hater, they're not women beaters, they're not child molesters, racist, or whatever. They really have an issue with feminism because, again, feminists love to come up with crap, just like on what you're doing right now at this very moment. Okay, you really do. So, it wasn't always called feminism, okay? It, you know, it seems like you people have some sort of of uh, ideal in your head to where, you know, uh, the powers that be were sitting around saying, let's do something and let's call it feminism. No, it was not like that, okay? Now, I'm gonna explain to you what it was like and I need for you people to realize that you need to learn how to listen to reason. You know, this is how and why black people are treated like animals, okay? This is why the black man is not respected because most of the time you can't reason with you. You know, you just go, 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 all based upon emotion and you need to listen to reason. You need to listen to the information that is being provided to you instead of just, you know, going off of, of on a tangent about something that you absolutely know nothing about. Well, you are going to act a little bit more rational? Well then, I do expect a video response then. I mean, you know, if you say that we should sit down and listen to you, I expect the exact same thing. Okay, the feminist movement didn't always just start off as feminism, 
Okay, it was later dubbed that because that's what it is. It's it's a female movement. I don't even know why you jackasses even have so much to say about it. It's ridiculous. It's for women. It's not for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Earlier, you said that feminism empowered black men, and now all of a sudden you say that feminism is not for quote unquote you people. I'm sorry, but who do you get to decide on who can be a feminist and who can't? Hell, I know plenty of feminist men in in feminist movement, sadly. I know a few movie Bob Um what's his face? That guy I made a video response um three common myths about feminism. He defends feminism. I'm sorry. But I don't even understand what you're trying to say right now. Are you trying to say that, you know, um, black men can't join the feminist movement because it's only for women? Or are you trying to say that as long as you're not a part of the feminist movement, you cannot criticize the feminist movement? Is that what you're trying to say? I can't believe I'm saying this, but if I was a feminist, I'd be a better feminist than you. The very fact that you basically said what you just said is outstandingly stupid. I'm beginning to suspect that you're actually sexist and racist. Because uh, I don't know what you people is, but whatever you people is, you probably don't like them very much. It's not for you to even really know about, you know what I'm saying? It's for you to just to to just realize and, and, and I don't even know where you people in your generation come off with all this crap. And you can tell that you're just parroting somebody else. Okay, you can tell that you have you have latched on to some of these videos on YouTube because YouTube is a very anti feminist or anti woman place. Anti feminist Maybe. Anti-woman? What sort of weed you been smoking, woman? It really is. You know, YouTube is congested with those type of misogynist, angry, troll men. Oh, man, I must be a, an angry, angry troll because, you know, it's not the fact that you make bullshit up. It's the fact that I'm an angry troll, you know, trying to get a reaction out of you and uh, you know I have no life whatsoever aside from just trolling people yeah I'm a troll <laughs> to be able to work and, and buy houses and things of that nature so it wasn't like oh we're gonna start the feminist movement okay these were women that said, hey, we have rights to, pretty much. And when you think about it, when you look at underdeveloped countries, the reason why those countries are underdeveloped is because they dog out their women. There is no feminist movement for them. Oh, geez, I wonder why. We have one of the biggest feminists on YouTube, Feminist Frequency, link in the description. This woman has raised over a hundred fifty thousand dollars. She could have used that money to, you know, help educate other women in um, how they gain equality or whatsoever. No, no, no. Instead of doing any helpful stuff, what she's doing is pointing out sexism in video games. This is a feminist's greatest achievement right now. Wow. Just wow. You know, if, if 
you know, fighting sexism in video games is like the the greatest, you know, the, the greatest moment of a feminist life that no wonder why there's no feminist movement in <coughs> in third world countries. No freaking wonder why. You know, I was just telling somebody today that women over in India are still getting acid thrown in their face because they are dealing with these insecure men, you know, who don't want them to be beautiful. They want to they they want to destroy who they are. You know, I'm going to tell you something. Black men, you look totally ridiculous denouncing feminism. Feminism was women's emancipation, okay? Emancipation means being set free. So why wouldn't you want somebody to be free? Uh, I don't know where exactly you live. I'm assuming it's here in America because you're speaking English. But I'm pretty sure that black men are no longer slaves. Slavery ended somewhere around 1860, and Jim Crow laws ended somewhere around 1960. <sighs> My God, you, 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 I don't know where you're, where you get this idea, but you know, if feminism has done their job, then there's no need for being a feminist you 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 did your job congrats there's no need to be a feminist you know what i'm saying do you even know the history of women in this society the the just the history of women all over the world you know the reason why america is what it is is because the women have have some level of power okay so you really need to stop doing that and what's really sad is for a black man to be against uh the feminist movement is because you have been enslaved before so you know how it feels to not have a voice and for you to be okay with another person not having enough uh, having an, having a voice or another group of people not having a voice based upon their sex is no different from you being discriminated against based upon your race oh quit pretending that you've been enslaved before quit pretending that you're right now being oppressed because you're not let me ask you this have you ever been a slave have you ever been under the effects of jim crow i mean i'm assuming that you're somewhere around your 50s although i could be wrong however have you been into slavery no you have not so Quit pretending that you have so much in common with, you know, those who have been truly oppressed. And that is what's so sad about that. You know, you have not done one bit of research on this subject. Not one. All you have done is looked at some YouTube videos by misogynists. You haven't done anything else. Oh, you mean YouTubers like Mr. Repsion, The Amazing Atheist, Thunderfoot, Warcorp666, Victor Zen, Sparky Fister, and people like myself? Apparently, we're nothing more than a bunch of misogynists who do nothing more but do misogynistic crap? Yeah. Yeah. This is all I gotta say. You know, you have not done anything else. All you've done is tried to blame, which, which is pretty much what you're doing, you know. And it's really disappointing uh, seeing some of the videos because, you know, a lot of the people are trying to uh, debunk Tommy Sotomayor. But Tommy Sotomayor is a huge misogynist and he's a sexist. So what you're doing is you're saying Tommy Sotomayor is wrong, but you're wrong too because you're attacking feminism. I don't know who the hell is Tommy Sotomayor. <laughs> can't pronounce that. But whoever he is, if he's a sexist or a racist, then I don't give a flying fuck. 
But it doesn't mean that me attacking feminism makes me automatically wrong. You see what I'm saying? Why do you, why you need to ask yourself as a man, why do you need to have control over women in order to feel good about yourself? I would never, never ask that question to myself because I would never do that. Just saying. You know what I'm saying? That makes absolutely no sense. It really doesn't. And for you to adamantly just speak out about something that you know nothing about or something that you do know about and you were just like seriously saying that Tommy Sotomayor is wrong. Well, you're the pack, the pot calling the kettle black because how are you any different? You're no different. You're attacking women just like he is. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not attacking women. We're attacking feminists. We're attacking feminists like yourself. I have attacked both male and female feminists. So your gender has nothing to do with this. I don't hate you based on your gender. I hate you because of your ideology. When you know that most women are feminists, you know that, you know, and for you to sit up there and say black women have no power, excuse me, let me tell you something. There are black feminist women right now sitting in Congress every day and they're labeled as feminists and they are the ones that are keeping the women in this society safe and advanced. They are the ones that are advancing women in this society. Okay, that one right there is just plain bullshit. I got nothing else to say about that one. They sit there on Congress every day. In, in Congress, in the White House, and, you know, doing all those, um, when they sitting on the panels and stuff, whatever they call them, they sitting there every day. There are feminists every single day that are fighting for women's rights every single day. So for you to say that black women have no power, these women are black and white. You know what I'm saying? Black women do have a lot of power. And it's sad that as a black man, you would feel the need to, to try to take away the black woman's power. You're, I mean, it's really not going to happen. And, and you really need to just like stop. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? Again, I don't even know where you're getting this information. I mean, this is some Illuminati crap or some conspiracy crap thinking that they're, you know, black men are trying to overthrow black women from Congress. Me, I don't give a flying fuck on how many black women are in Congress. Okay? I just don't. But you, you're just crazy and delusional thinking that the people who are opposing feminism are somehow trying to get rid of women out of Congress. That's just not reality. Do research before you start talking about a subject that you have no idea what you're talking about and stop attacking, attacking feminism. You, you look really sad and not only that, you are pretty much empowering um, feminism, anti-feminism and capitalism keeps white men in power. You are insane. You are delusional. You've lost your marbles and can't get them back. Your brain has ejected from your body and now has traveled into space while your body remains here. Your body is nothing more than a shell of what it used to be. Now you're just spouting out crazy nonsense that not even old crazy people will understand. You are, in fact, one crazy psychopath. I've been opposing feminism since um, Barack Obama became president of the United States, which is back in 2008. I really, really, really 
dislike feminists like yourself. So, I don't know where you get this idea that opposing feminism means that we're trying to put the white man back into power. You know, this crazy Illuminati crap. But, you're just... You're insane. Just plain, flat out insane. That is all I can say, that you are crazy. Okay, it does. You know what I'm saying? The only way black men are going to get power is if they get behind feminism. And a lot of them know that. Seriously. Look at Will Smith. Will Smith is a huge feminist. Look at how powerful he is. Okay, now you're just pulling shit out of your ass. Will Smith is a feminist? Not according to Wikipedia. I mean, I never recall Will Smith being a feminist. I mean, there's a guy named Will Smith who's a feminist. But Will Smith, the Will Smith, I fucking doubt it. But let's give you the benefit of the doubt and say that Will Smith's a feminist. Fine. You know what? Fine. He's a feminist. Guess what? There are plenty of black men that are not feminist, but yet they're still in power. And of course, our president of the United States is black! And he's not a feminist. You're never going to get anywhere if you are <laughs> dissing women. It's just really not going to happen. Like, like honestly, you know, that that's just the truth of the matter. I'm just being honest. If you want any respect, you are going to have to get in touch with your feminine side. All right? Bye! Well, guess what, woman? Fuck you! I mean, God damn it! Ugh! <laughs> I have never, never encounter a YouTuber that is this dumb, that is this arrogant, that is never, that, this isn't the pot calling the kettle black. No, 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 that's an insult. This is the pot in a safe, in a vault, in a house color black, in the middle of a small little planet that's completely covered in darkness, about to be sucked in a black hole. It's calling the pot black. I have never, never encountered a YouTuber this incredibly dumb. I mean, I don't even think this woman is even capable of actually making a video response. I mean, if she does make a video response, is her video, you know... Is, is it ending going to be any better than her last video? Is it? I doubt that. This is the first time in my life that 
I have reached to my freaking boiling point where I cannot phantom the amount of crazy conspiracal, conspiracal lies that this woman has come up with. I cannot believe my eyes. I want to go deaf just from hearing this woman. I am making this video way, way too long. And quite frankly, I am wasting my time with this woman. All right, bigoted free TV or whatever you want to call yourself. If you do make a video response, do me this one, one favor. Please do more research rather than come up with more conspiracies. Because if you're just going to come up with more conspiracies, then people are just going to laugh at you. So do me this favor. Cut the crap. Just do research. I am begging you, woman. Also, if you have the time, there's a few YouTubers in the link in the description. I think you should watch their videos on feminism. And then just come back to me. Come back to me and tell me on how wrong I am. Just, just do that. I dare you. I have nothing else to say. I am... The Atheist Gamer. And I have met the world's dumbest YouTuber. Bye-bye.